This is illegal. Yeah, girl, this is no, this is illegal. This is illegal. Your boyfriend is doing something illegal. Run. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Zula Answers. Um, we are back, I'm Brenda. And I'm Larry. Today we'll be reading and reacting to some relationship stories, but in the situation where the OP doesn't know whether to stay or run. We'll be rating each story out of five running emojis, five being they should definitely run. Have you been in any like relationship or situation where you wanted to run? I would say yes. <laughs> Oh. It's either I want to run or my the other party wants to run. Really? really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, then again, it's because you you used to choose toxicity. I like. I have quite a good judge, like you know, to the character of people mm. based on what I read, and like depends on the situation. I could say like they should run or stay. Okay. Trust me. So, uh, Larry's experience for me, I will be speaking from the point of view of someone who has been single for. Forever. 13 years and then I just got into an official relationship. So like very fresh. I got no experience wanting to run. And no, I do not want to run for my current relationship. Oh my god, who's your boyfriend? Why are you asking stupid questions? I don't you know, you never tell me. Oh, I met him already. Oh, what's his name again? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go to story number one? Sure. Okay. So the title is Fat Ass. Okay, so my boyfriend, 24 male, and I, 26 female, had a heated argument where he ended up calling me a fat ass twice. <laughs> he apologized when I brought it up to him the day after. I'm extremely hurt because he would always call me beautiful and how he loves my body. But then why say this? It has me questioning, does he really find me attractive or does he actually like me? So I've been kind of distant these past couple of days and I don't get dressed in front of him anymore. Oh, okay. It doesn't help that all these random TikTok videos talking about if a man really loves you, he wouldn't ever try to put you down or on my For You page. I'm trying to move past this but I don't know, I feel weird now. He said he feels really bad about it. Should I let this slide since it was during an argument and people say things when they are mad? Or is this something to really think about breaking up with him about? Okay. Let's break it down slowly. So they have an argument. Oh yeah. Okay. I, yes. <coughs> Let me put myself in her shoes, okay? Okay, and the guy, example. Mm. Okay. Fight, fight, we fight. Fat ass. Fat ass. Cannot. Okay. I'll Cannot, be right. angry. Right. I'll be angry. I'll be angry also. Yeah, like, what for you must call me that name? Correct. It's, it, it doesn't value add to the mm. argument. Correct. It doesn't help us, you know, resolve anything. Mm. In fact, it makes it worse. For me, it's never right to fat shame anyone. Correct. Uh, much less your own partner that's fucked up and like but he apologized afterwards so what is your take about that i can kill you and then say sorry but you're dead i cannot reverse your death <gasps> correct correct just hmm. like how he cannot like take back his words right he apologized yes but it's really up to you if you want to accept his apology depending on i would say how affected you are by it because i have friends right who don't care if people call him fat like to them they'll like joke about it they really don't give a shit oh yeah right sure. but there are people on the other spectrum like Myself, a little bit fragile. Okay, I personally don't think it's something worth breaking up about. Yeah. Like, instantly. Mm. But it's definitely a, a minor red flag that you need to look out for. Confirm, right? If you're angry and you say this like thing to your partner twice, it means there's really something inside you that's bothering. Mm. Like, 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 you actually talk about Yeah, her, about, right? like, about her size or about how the way she looks. You might say things <laughs> unintentionally, yeah. but it means that it has been brewing up inside. Like, it's something right. that you thought of. You won't randomly yeah. say something that you never think of, yeah. right? I think, right, based on this, right, it really affects her a lot. I think not only for women, I think even for Everyone, guys, right, yeah. even for, like, anybody, when it comes to, like, body image issues, there's a lot of people who, who are very sensitive about it. If I were to put myself in the shoes of the OP, right, I personally would be affected because... Confirm! Like, I would also I, be affected. I overthink a lot, right? And then the fact that he said it out, mm -hmm. knowing twice. that... Uh, twice. knowing that maybe I am sensitive about my weight means that he doesn't really... Care about your care feelings. about my feelings. What mm. I will do if I were the OP is I will talk to him about how this really affects you, mm. and not just one line brushing right. it off, saying like, "Oh, I don't really like it when you say it." Mm. Like you really need to go into the details and explain why it's mm. affecting you, and it really is up to him if he wants to accept it and change. Because mm. you cannot expect him to instantly change. Correct. And if it's not in him to change, you should be able to see in the next few months 
and if it still if the topic still comes up when you are angry and he calls you a fat ass again then you should yeah. Yeah. overall say no to fat shaming no to fat shaming okay anyway <laughs> you gotta rate this story 1, 2, 3 2.5 2. Oh. yeah so it's like really depends on the situation you can run but you can stay if like you can resolve it yeah all. there is room for improvement, improvement so yeah. 2 and 2.5 <clears throat> okay next story is titled lie by omission I, 35 female, feel confused and I don't feel great. My boyfriend, 40 male, always texts me at night and in the morning and they're always friendly and loving. Last night, I texted him when I got home from a dinner with a female friend I had told him about and he didn't respond for over a half hour and it was a very matter-of-fact slash short response. I then conversationally asked what restaurant he went to. Again, just a short slash clipped response. He didn't say who he was there with and he usually does. No follow-up text later to say goodnight, no niceties. Odd. My intuition told me something was weird. In the morning, I asked how his night was and who he went with. He names a woman I've never heard of. I asked where he knows her from. He says he met her years ago on a dating app. <laughs> but they are just friends and says, I'm not cheating on you. I love you. Okay, stop. That's a clear <laughs> sign of cheating already. Mind you, all I had said at that point is, oh, I haven't heard of this friend. Long story short, he ends up telling me he felt like I would think it was weird and didn't want me to feel weird so he purposely didn't tell me so I wouldn't feel that way. Which means he lied by omission. Means he chose not to tell her. I want to believe him and I guess I believe he didn't cheat. But it still doesn't explain his short responses to me. At the end of the day, he was out with a woman late at night drinking and made a choice not to tell me. Also, I know he told me when I asked but I had to ask more than one clarifying question and he admitted that he wouldn't have told me if I didn't ask. I feel lied to, not a priority and my feelings are hurt. Is this a red flag? Yes. Yes. Do you think it's indicative that he's lied about other things and is a cheater? Yes. Is this relationship worth staying in? No. Wait, we haven't break it down. Don't, Don't like, need to break down already. Eh. <laughs> like, it says it's already about the man, you know. Because like, how can you build trust if you won't be honest, right? Because like, for me, right, I'd rather my partner cheat, you know, maybe when he's drunk, okay? Huh? Suddenly, he kissed someone in the bar. He come back and tell me, okay, I'm sorry, last night it was so crazy. I already got drunk and I kissed a guy. At least, right, they came clean and it's the first time and they say they won't do it again, okay? Trust is still there. I think if you are in a committed relationship, right, giving each other reassurance is very important. Important. Cheating doesn't only apply when you kiss or like touch yeah. someone. Physical cheating is not the only kind of cheating. You have emotional Correct. cheating also. What is your threshold for cheating? I feel exactly in this context, right, if he goes and meets someone of his preferred gender without telling me or hiding something from me, to me that's cheating. As long as they come and they tell me and it won't happen again. That's it. But once they have sex with other people, done. Mm. Done deal. Goodbye. Well, for me, right, even a uh, kiss in a club also cannot. I think even like, if they are drunk, because different people got different correct. limits, right? Yeah. Yeah. To me, both emotional and physical cheating are cheating. This is very very sad. Eh? It is definitely whatever your boyfriend <coughs> is doing is a freaking red flag. He's 40 years old. Why is he meeting someone that he talked to at dating? Eh, 40 eh. Hey, yeah, that's why 40. Oh my god. Do you think it's indicative that he's lied about other things and is a cheater? Yes, confirm lah. I wouldn't be surprised if he slept with someone already, you know. I would say um, he might not be a cheater now, but I think he's going there. He got potential. Do you think she should run or stay? Run. Same. Okay, shall we wait? Wait. Wait. One, two, three. Four. Three. Four. I definitely run away already. No chance even. Okay, our third story is entitled Digital Cheating. Mm -hmm. Another cheating story. <laughs> but got question mark. Yeah. So digital cheating? So my boyfriend and I have been dating for a year. A few months into our relationship, I saw that he follows and sent photos of girls on Instagram. From Xiao Mimi to big boobs. You name it, he has it all. Wow. I was very upset and told him that I wanted to break up as I felt very disrespected but he said that he was so sorry and he won't do it again. Additionally, he has a group chat with his bros and they always send scandalous pictures of girls. This is illegal! Yeah! Did y'all not hear about the... the what? Is it Nasi Lemak? Nasi Lemak. Uh, this is illegal. It really. is illegal! Your boyfriend is doing something illegal! Run! I told him that I did not like it and he said that he is not the one sending and that he can tell his friends to stop. After going through his old phone's photo album, I found his hidden album where he'll screenshot girls' photos and some were quite recent. 
while his friends continued sending videos and pictures of girls in provocative clothes. I told him that uh, that's the end of this relationship. But other than that, he's he is a very good boyfriend that's super understanding, accommodating, and I gel really well with his family. I don't know what to do in this situation as it has been bothering me if I should break up with him. Okay, the boyfriend can say that he didn't participate in a group chat, but the fact that he is screenshotting materials on the internet means that he is used to and okay with this behaviour. Correct. Is your girlfriend not enough? Yeah. And if she's not enough, right, why you still want to be with her? It's just really being disrespectful of your girlfriend. Yeah. For real, eh? Because like, if you respect your girlfriend, right, you wouldn't like do this kind of things, mm. you know? Like even like secretly or whatever. Yeah, I think yeah. attached or not, I 100% don't condone that stupid mm. group chat that he has with his bros. That's like borderline illegal already. Mm. But then self-consumption of the images, right? As long as he doesn't do anything to harm the people in the images, mm. and if he's single, I honestly think there's nothing wrong with it. I have a question to you. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So let's make a scenario. What if your boyfriend asks you to have sex, right? But you say no. But then he went. But he's looking at the photos of girls. Cannot lah. No. Or watching porn. Oh, actually watching... Oh, okay, this uh, is a weird thing. Cause okay, if I'm example, not... your boyfriend asks you to have sex, right? Then you say no. Then, okay, you have no choice but to relieve himself. Then you go to the toilet wherever but watching porn. Well, actually... So, is that considered digital cheating? Weirdly enough, right? I'm okay if, like, my partner watches porn, then look at pictures of girls. If the picture itself turns you on, means, like, you are imagining the person. How about y'all let us know in the comments below? Yeah, so, like... You think like watching porn and like relieving yourself, right? Is it considered cheating if you're attached? Yeah. You should think about this on your own free time. <laughs> it's either porn or my picture. <laughs> <laughs> no other people's picture. Yeah. Wow, where are we? Okay, wait. So we have a conclusion. <laughs> to me, it's a run. This is a fucking run yeah. situation. Okay, whether it's a group chat that he, you know, a Telegram group chat that he joined anonymously or it's a bunch of friends he knows. To me, is I will run, mm. especially since they are his friends. Eh? It means that he's surrounding himself with people, people. like that every day. Oh, Just run, sister. Run. run. Run as fast as you can. Oh yeah, we gotta read this. Mm, okay, I got it. One, two, three. Four. four. Run. Yeah, run. Run with four legs. Wait. <laughs> four legs. <laughs> <laughs> this story is titled, Just a Silly Joke. I've been dating my boyfriend for a year and we've had lots of fun, adventure and love. We have an intense connection and chemistry but can sometimes become intense in a negative way. We've also had a number of petty fights and arguments during this year. My boyfriend was cleaning the bathroom and I walked in to grab my hairbrush. As I went to grab the brush, he decided to splash me in the face with the running water. I immediately said, don't do that. Because I don't like water in my face and I don't like jokes in my face. And I've told him this before. For the record, I'm quite a silly person and love to joke around but don't like jokes in my face. <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is quite funny. <laughs> it's very funny, I cannot hear it. Like anything about her face cannot touch. <laughs> understand, understand. He immediately retaliated and started yelling at me, asking why the fuck I was reacting like that. Saying I was being over the top, that I can't take a joke. So I left and went to a nearby cafe to finish work for the day. He then sent me this text message. I don't want to be in a relationship where everything is restricted and not allowed. Please, a drop of water in the face is just a fucking dumb joke and not worth creating drama over. I feel so angry and sad, not about the water, but because I feel like my feelings are not valid to him. Anyway, do you think this is grounds to break up with him? Am I being over the top? Why Why is she so affected okay. by face, face Say jokes? Say if you have your makeup, okay. okay. Understand, and you're going out for dinner. Fine. Yes. Okay, but... She is specifically say like she don't like jokes in my face. Why yeah? I need context why she don't like this. Mm. Cause later we comment right. Like what then, is a valid reason? Right, right. Then she really got trauma from something. Then you will you it looks like we're invalidating her mm. like, trauma. But yeah, I need more context about this. But if we like look if at, without context, uh, without context, yeah. like if we just look at it in a very like shallow like way. If she really just doesn't like, just, just she doesn't like it, right? I understand to a point that if people touch my hair. I hate it, you know, I freaking hate it. But if people do it to me, right, just my friend lah, okay lah, touch like that, right? I'll be like, what lah, what the fuck? But, okay, that's it already. You know, I'm just like, hey, don't do that lah, I'm okay. But it's not like, I'll be like, make it a big deal, like a drama. Like, see? Yeah, so just like that lor. But I think for her, it really like, it really, I feel like it's coming from somewhere. Okay, just assuming, <coughs> now we assume, right, we got no, no context, so we assume that 
She just doesn't like it. I feel like it's a little bit too much. Small jokes like this is the kind of things yeah. that make the relationship fun, no? Right, and I feel right. I imagine, you know, right, like, while you're reading it, I had this very cute, like, very cute. Like, 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 the guy very fun, you know, he wants to sayang the girl. Uh, and then, and then you play, ah! But it's not, eh? Don't do that! Don't do that! Do that in my face! And then you wash dishes also, she pass by, you must stop. <laughs> Little the water splash, then she angry again. You water the plant, she passed by, you must stop also. <laughs> Real or not? Correct, right? Because the spray bottle might go now. Yeah! If I'm the guy, I'll run away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like, I feel like if I'm the guy, I might be the one running away. Mm. If you really don't like it and there's really a valid reason into it, then you explain to the guy that you are dating or whatever and they still like accept it or cannot compromise with you, then yeah, you run away. Okay? Yeah. Because like, I mean, if you really had the valid reason and all these things, then of course they should respect that, you mm. know. But if you really just don't like it, just don't like it. Because I don't like it, lah. It's like, uh, I think hopefully you can find someone, yeah. you know, who will accept you uh, for like, you know, not wanting any water or jokes in your face. Okay, uh, let's read this story. <laughs> One, two, two three, three, five. Oh, wow. For me, five because, right, I think They're both of them need to run. Yeah, same, yeah. same, same. I really feel like it's like that. Yeah. They all must run from each other. All right. What is your favorite story for today? I like uh, the last one. <laughs> same. I like the last one, the <laughs> like, jokes in my face. Yeah, I feel like it might sound petty and all these things, right? But actually, it's quite entertaining. <laughs> I think it's the only story that they need to where, run from each other. Yeah, where they yeah. are incompatible. It's like no one cheated. Mm-hmm. They are just incompatible. But Correct. the rest are like freaking cheaters. Alright, thank you so much for watching this episode of Zula Answers. If you want to react to the stories we shared today, you can uh, leave them in the comments below. Today got a lot of debates going on. Right, right? Yeah, a lot of debates. I love that. And if you have any confessions that you want us to react to, we have a Google form link in the description box below. So you can leave it there and who knows? Maybe we'll react to them one day. Yes. Yeah. And with that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.